Good morning, good morning. You guys ready to go? Yes. Let's go fishing, check the nets. And look at my doggy. Hey. Say good morning, Lada. Come on, settle down. Settle down. Okay, we're waiting on the big man. He's still dressing up. So we'll take you guys along today to check our nets. We only got seven. And we'll take you with us. So we came on the lake. It was a cold ride. It was minus, it's minus 25 Celsius. How far do we need to drive? About, I think 12 and a half, 13 kilometers, I think. <clears throat> From the shore on the lake, 13 kilometers. Yeah, tell us what we do doing. Right now, pull the ink out. Mm -hmm. Always protect the line. Yeah, so we basically gotta hook up this beautiful yellow line. It's the same line we use it for send a jigger. I think we're gonna do a video on that later on. Um, how to. Okay, give me the yellow line, throw that to the side. So that's, that's our weight. Our, uh, our bridle. I think I end, I guess. And uh, we do this fancy tying. Fancy enough. <laughs> Ain't no fancy. Nothing is fancy around here. Simple fishing, right? Simple knots. Like this. And, uh... Oh. And then, uh... It's in the coast. Down, down, like down, down she down goes. Line. Then we need a security line so somebody doesn't get too excited and then... When, when we pull the net back. Basically, this line goes inside. We're gonna pull the net on that end. When we finish the pulling 300 feet, somebody, usually Philip, comes back and he grabs this yellow line and pulls it back, sets the net back in in the water. Some people do it with a snowmobile, but uh, snowmobile sometimes you get it caught your line on something and you start ripping your net. I don't know, there's many ways of doing this thing. We do everything manually. We do everything backwards. <laughs> so The hardest way you can imagine. So today we're gonna check seven nets. At 700 meters or 2100 feet. Either or, so the line goes in. It's going in itself. It, Nobody's even doing anything. Yeah. Must be a fish on. Well, let's go on that end. So we came to the to this. Uh, pulled the first net out, and we're just getting set up. The boys are cleaning. I got my table ready. I got my papers ready. Basically, I have a number of the nets. What kind of fish? And I'm gonna mark down each species, how many I've got per net. So I can compare which net produces the most. And um, I use this toboggan to put my fish in. Basically, I have this foam, rigid foam, on the bottom, on the side, insulated tarp. Plus, I got the blanket when I put my fish in. I put the blanket on top, plus insulated tarp. And when I get tired, I cover myself up with a blanket too. <laughs> Take a little snoozy. <laughs> yeah, so I so think... So the boys are ready to pull the lead anchor. Pulling the line out. So I'm gonna set you guys up probably on that side, put you on a time lapse. I'll be cleaning fish and they'll be pulling the net and bring you the fish. Right? Well, if the battery doesn't die. And we are at 60 feet deep i think is it 60 here that's, or 40. that's 60. it's a little bit too deep it's 60 on this end and when we get closer to the first line we'll be at 38 feet i don't remember that yeah. was that was yesterday that was a month when we set it up got to say what day today forgot the date. Today is the March 7th, 2024. So here she comes. Oh. Good news. 
fish. In America, they one. call the she fish. And a white, white fish. Oh, wow. That's a good size. Is. Another that white. Coney? No, that's a white. A white. And a coney. It's all white. <laughs> okay, guys, I'm gonna. Oh, we oh. got a trout. I think we should uh, stop the line, right, and untangle the fish. I'm gonna grab this cone and put you guys inside this cone. Here's a big one. We had a little problem. This fish got stuck. It's huge. It's a good size. And they get tangled up and they get caught halfway or flat ways. Flat ways. Sucks. It's hard on the net. Oh, oh. Mariah. Burbot. Ancestor. And there's more coming. So now at the other end, Philip is pulling that yellow rope that we showed you in the beginning of this video. And he's basically pulling the whole net inside the water. And we've got 35 fish from this net, I guess. It's good. It's producing good, I think. And, and then we go ahead now. Igor's over there, and, chipping a hole. And Igor's over there, Junior. He's getting ready for us to move. And so, then uh, Ruf's going to go help him out here in, in a minute. Once this net goes to a certain point. I've been teaching Philip how to tie knots, but he still can't get it. So I got to go in there and make sure. And I will show what kind of uh, fish um, plant is taking the fish plant is taking it's uh, they're not taking a burbot or mariah because there is no um need for it i guess because people uh don't eat it i guess it's not 
It's not that it's a bad fish, it's good eating, good, good eating fish. Tastes like lobster. Lobster, chicken, I don't know, whatever. Yeah, so here's the second uh, line. So there's another line goes inside. They all basically tied together. Okay, I'm gonna go uh, over okay. there. So working on net number four. Okay, Phil, show me what kind of fish you have. So this is a white fish, put it like that. That's the money fish. And you're working? On in canoe. They used to pay a lot of money, like $3 or 50, three fifty a pound. So basically a fish like that was worth a hundred bucks 10 years ago. Not anymore. Not anymore. That sucks. Okay, we got another coney, so we'll let him to do that job. Here's the sucker. That's another white fish. And I got some fish on my table. That's a burbot. They're not taking it, those guys. It's called the Mariah. Mariah. You know what they look like? Yeah, look like a human to me. They look like a... I didn't mean to offend anybody. Don't say it. I'm <laughs> not to offend. And look at these guys, man. We got a laker. Oh, yes. And I think they almost got it. Junior and Ruth. Oi, oi, oh. Look at this. Uh, how many pounds do you think this guy is? 40. <laughs> 50. 50. She's like 50. Let me take a video of the two. Is, is that heavier than Jacob? Go this way. Yeah, see this is the fish? That's where we gotta leave it. For the wolves. Look at this guy. Oh. It's probably heavy, huh? Let me open his mouth. Oh. Ah, it's hey, sharp. Easy. He, he'll bite you. What the? Oh, Let me try to weight him. Oh yeah, 60 pounds. Oh yeah, maybe even more. Phil, grab that cooney so we can compare them. Oh, take a break. Hold on, I want to take that cooney. This is what, brown trout? Yeah, a lake trout. That's a lake trout. Laker? No, pick it up, flat. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, it's a good pound they just... That's so this fish probably worth about 50, 60 bucks, maybe more. That's what it's called commercial fishing. You guys could buy it from us for a hundred dollars. <laughs> oh yeah. So far the net number one produced the most. Or you could come out here and fish with us and pay us a thousand to catch a fish like that. Or that, yes. Yeah. Outfitters too. Okay, well, let's go back to work. Working on net number six. Ruth, she's got a white fish. Igor's got a sucker. Oh, I feel lost in time. Sucker! Man, the weather is changing like fast. Another coney, another coney, and the trout. So again, I'll put you guys on the time lapse. And I'll be the one who's gonna clean the fish again. Uh oh, a little bit higher. Haha, <laughs> right there. Okay, help.
working on our set number seven right my lovely man is bidding We're the auction at the auction right now as we speak <laughs> that's the nice thing about the great slave league the internet works the services are good yeah so we're trying to buy something so we can plan a trip for down south down south and bring things up and uh, resell i guess or that's what we do besides fishing we do a lot of it okay i'm gonna set you guys up and see like all the guts we're gonna leave him here one of the cleaning the birds gonna come down and eat the wolves are coming out so we kind of have to feed the animals too right we just can't feed only people so we care about the animals give it back to them so they don't starve but still wolves are coming into community which is sucks Чаю. Да. Yes, we fall last night out. And I'm just finishing up my cleaning. Like for trout like this, we're taking the gills out and all the guts out. For bigger fish, I cut the head off and pull the insides out too. Because each fish goes per size, per weight. Yeah. So our day for today is almost done, like white fish. I pull the uh, gills out and it's clean. today so I filleted I wanna have some nice cooked walleye yeah you don't really see them on the winter time walleye so pretty much full bar for white fish which is good that's heavy that's probably sound yeah, my tub is clean almost. I got two more suckers to clean, and I'll show you. By the end of the day, you're just so tired of this fish. That's the heavy. This guy's cut the heads off, clean the guts out. Suckers are a little bit different. You have to cut this fin off. And they take this at the fish plant. All this fish actually sending goes out to uh, Winnipeg? Winnipeg, yeah. 
and they going to process all this fish, especially the suckers, they're gonna can them and that will go overseas. So basically maybe whoever is watching... We don't, we don't eat good quality fish here in uh, Canada. We buy stuff from hatcheries like China and all this stuff we produce, it goes overseas. <laughs> to China. <laughs> yeah, just like the lumber, same idea. We get number two, number three, we don't get number one because all the nice stuff goes to Japan. I'll show you how I uh, break the neck on this guy. Because my camera girl was taping her dad. Actually, Coney, this fish, I smoked it. It's really good. Really good. Like you seen that big trout that we've got? Yesterday we caught the same size, so I kept it. And we did it on the grill. We did it on the grill. It turned out really good. And you go like that. Done. Done deal. Okay, that's it for the day.